In New Jersey, people are bracing for the worst after dealing with severe flooding just a few weeks ago. CBS 2's Alicia Reed continues our team coverage now from Fairfield. Alicia. Christina Maurice, Governor Phil Murphy declared a state of emergency here in New Jersey that went into effect three hours ago. The rain, as you can see, is coming down pretty heavily right now, so uh, there's no escaping it. And trying to hold on to an umbrella is futile. Behind me here, we see sandbags. We're at the Fairfield uh, Public Library. People have been coming in and getting those sandbags. People are taking advantage of it. It is being made available to Fairfield residents. And one man it took quite a bit of time filling sandbag after sandbag, placing them in his car. The sand has been sitting in the rain since this afternoon. So as you can imagine, those bags were wet and heavy for him. But what's more important right now is securing homes and property from flooding. And the sandbags will help do just that. In the nearby town of Wayne, residents are preparing for the worst. Businesses closed up shop early and so did some schools. They wanted to ensure they didn't get caught off guard or trapped. Now, during last month's storm, homes, streets, cars, and basements were flooded. And the mayor of the township of Wayne says they are prepared for any emergencies. We have our emergency management team. Is uh, We've opened our mobile command center. We have people to evacuate you in five-ton trucks. But last month, we just evacuated over 100 people from their houses and from motor vehicles. So the, the key is to get out early and protect yourselves and protect your family. Now we're told all emergency management offices are on call, and that includes the Marine Unit. Again, the rain is coming down quite heavily here in Fairfield, and so officials are warning people, if you don't need to be outside, stay off the roads. Live in Essex County, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Alicia. And as our storm continues here, we invite you to safely send in your pictures and videos. Share them with us by going to cbsnewyork.com slash photos. You can also scan the QR code there on your screen. Your photo or video could be featured on air or on our website. And stay with CBS 2 for the latest track on the storm. We'll have live updates on air and on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And our morning team will be on the air early when we are in the thick of it tomorrow morning starting at 4 a.m.